The efficacy of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors has been uh, a matter of considerable debate. And there, there are several reasons for that. Uh, one reason is because uh, they do have limitations. We, we usually give, as psychiatrists, a rule of thumb that one third of people are going to do very well with S SRIs. Uh, another third are not going to respond at all to them. And then another third are going to get somewhat better with them. Uh, one of the things that I've found clinically is a real problem, and this has been uh, variably re reported in the literature but not very well characterized yet, is that some individuals who inif initially respond quite well to selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, uh, will, the, the effectiveness will wear off over time. And so even though they start out having a great response, over time they'll lose their effectiveness. And it's been controversial about whether this class of drugs is more prone to have that wearing off effect than previous classes like the old tricyclic antidepressants. At any rate, it's, it's left us in the field with a need to find uh, more uh, effective uh, medications. Uh, another thing that, that we do in the field is we often end up combining serotonin reuptake inhibitors with antidepressants of other, uh, that have other mechanisms of action. And, uh, and often by combining a antidepressant treatments that have multiple mechanisms of action, we can then get people well and keep people well. But often that takes patience on the part of uh, individuals with depression. To, they, they may have to work with a doctor for a couple of years or more to find that combination that's going to get them well and keep them well.